Agenda item number eight, REZ 2012-07. Mr. Davenport, you please present. Yes, sir. Thank you. The applicant in this case, representing an agent of, I believe, three or four landowners, is requesting a rezoning from a state agricultural EA, which is our full agricultural district, to residential agricultural RA, which is that two and a half acre orange color we just got done with dealing with in the previous cases. The intent here is to subdivide. They are going to have enough lot size at the end of the day to have more than five acres, but EA development typically requires a 210 foot lot width, and these lots don't have enough lot width to subdivide with and meet that requirement. So they face either a variance to the lot width or a rezoning. In this case, they chose the rezoning in our report. When staff looked at this case, we did have to deal with some subdividing, some previous subdividing that had been done. We think we dealt with that without a condition. Additionally, we did look at the R21 or half acre zoning that's undeveloped across the street, and we looked at the way that we believe the higher is slated to grow in the future, and the transition this will provide from a more urban area to a less urban area. So with those factors in mind, we did find it consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommend for its approval. I don't have any other updates to this case, and I do believe it's with you tonight for a recommendation. Just for clarification, this is a county case, not a city of Harrah case? Yes, sir, that's right. It's near the city of Harrah, but it's definitely going to the county commissioners. Okay. Are there any other questions for staff from the commissioners? Yes, Mr. Wilson. Jason, I know, what's the width of the lot? There's two lots there. It shows up as one in your GIS, but there's actually two that have been currently subdivided. They're about 365 feet apiece. Wow. Wide. Okay. Wide. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. When we found out what the applicants intended to do, which was subdivide the property lengthways, they did not want to do like a flag lot configuration. They wanted them side by side rather than kind of front to back. I just want to make sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all. Do we have any other questions for staff? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward, state your name and address. Nathan Smith, 3890 Island Creek, Valdosta, Georgia. I'm just here representing, from the Herndon Company, representing Taylor Biddle and Mike Smith that own the two properties. We have a contract on one, and they want to divide it in half to put their houses side by side instead of doing the flag lot like Jason said, because, you know, down the road if they ever want to sell, they'll be behind each other. And the width, you know, we've got 364, and we're looking at 182 and a half feet in front of you. They recommended that we rezone this to go to barrier traps. That's the issue, so they wouldn't be side by side. I'm just here to answer any questions. Okay. Do we have any questions? I saw several for sale signs. All four of those lots up for sale? Yes. I got 12 and a half is for sale, and then the other 12 and a half. The contract is on the 12 and a half on the right to divide. But you want both lots. But they want to go ahead and, you know, offer 6.25 acres instead of 12 and a half because, you know, more people can afford 6 acres than 12. No, my concern was once it's rezoned, then they can build on two and a half. And then once it's sold, people that purchased the property can come in there and put as many as 10 houses potentially. 25 acres or two and a half per acre. Now, I realize what you said here. You just want to build two houses and the other is up for sale. That's right. I mean, it could easily be just three houses on these two lots. I mean, we're looking at a maximum of four lots. Would conditions upset your plans if there was conditions on there no more than four in a row across the street? No, I think that would be perfect for me. Well, that would eliminate the possibility of somebody re-subdividing after the sale. I'm just curious about it. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Okay. Are there any other questions for this speaker? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 